Hi, my name is Brian O'Neill Hughes. I'm the Senior Product Manager for the Photoshop team, and today I'd like to give you a sneak peek of just some of what we're up to in Camera Raw. This is an image off of my cell phone. It's heavily compressed, it's fairly low resolution, and I figured it would be a great way to show you just how powerful this new raw processing tool is. We've got an entirely new basic panel, and it's designed to give you more consistent controls. You'll notice that the midpoint of all of these sliders is aligned. We also have a couple of new controls. With highlights, I can recover more highlight information than I've ever been able to in the past. Same with shadows. I can boost the shadows and get information that I didn't know was even available here. If I were to pull back the black slider, I could introduce a little more contrast, and I can use clarity pretty aggressively without introducing halos. We've completely rewritten how all of this works. Now where it gets really interesting is that I could take my adjustment brush and I could actually paint in a warmer tone, I could reduce noise, I could sharpen, uh, I could adjust all sorts of things I couldn't adjust before, and I could do the same thing with the graduated filter. But let's open this image up in Photoshop, and I want to talk to you about just a little bit of what we're up to over here. You'll notice that Photoshop looks very different. We have a darker interface that allows for a more immersive experience. We're able to focus on the image and not on the interface itself, although fear not, if you want to change the interface to look as it did before, you can do that. In fact, you can choose a stop between or even a darker interface. Another thing that we get out of this is the ability to have a more consistent appearance alongside Lightroom or some of our video applications. You can also choose different background colors simply by context clicking on those. I want to show you one other thing with this new interface. We're working on all sorts of different things, and one of them is rich cursor support. So you'll see that in addition to a visual representation of my brush, I also have information about the diameter, hardness, and opacity. Okay, so that gives you just a sneak peek of some of what we did in Camera Raw and a little bit of what we're working on in Photoshop. Now, one last thing, if you're interested in that new raw processing engine, while this is not yet available, Lightroom Beta 4 does use the same processing engine in its develop module, and that's available as a free download on Adobe Labs. So you might check that out.